If you're looking for gold, you go look for it where you found gold. If you're looking for zinc, apparently you go look for it in Idaho. Well, that's a good place to start, at least in the, the Idaho Silver Valley, the Silver Valley Belt in North Idaho and Shoshone County. So we're here with Bunker Hill, listed on the CSE, and you are taking over a, uh, an advanced deposit that was in production and bringing it back into production. Right. The Bunker Hill mine was really the crown jewel of the Coeur d'Alene Mining District. Uh, historically, produced continuously for over 90 years, from 1885 to 1981. Wow. During that period of time, the mine produced 36 million tons of ore from 26 different ore bodies, three and a half million tons of lead. Was that one big system or were they different systems? Well, it's a gigantic system. There's actually four different types of ore bodies that were mined in there, but we're going to be focused now in redeveloping the mine on some very high grade, wide mechanized mining zones that are high zinc, right. uh, that also contain byproduct lead and silver. What kind of infrastructure is available? Well, it's the most interesting infrastructure really of any mining project I've ever seen because it's located in the town of Kellogg, Idaho. You can drive to the portal of the mine in a Cadillac and never leave paved road. Uh, all the buildings, the, uh, the mine offices and the, work, the workshop for uh, machinery and everything is all intact. There's power lines right to the mine. There's a workforce in town, a trained mining workforce, and you're 500 meters off of Interstate 90. How did you end up with the project? We've, uh, we've signed a, a, a lease purchase option from the underlying owner that, that acquired the property when uh, the Bunker Hill company went through a bankruptcy related to the catastrophe at the lead smelter back in the 80s. Right. So uh, we, have a, we have an ironclad lease purchase option on the project at this point. Okay, so I don't understand lease purchase option. What okay, does that mean? Well, we're currently leasing the mine. Right. We're making lease payments to the underlying owner and we have an ironclad option to acquire the mine for a purchase price of $25 million that would be paid out over 10 years. That's not bad. So a large part of the purchase price, the majority of the purchase price we expect would be paid out of cash flow. Out of production at the mine? From production, yeah. So what's your timetable? Well, that's an interesting question, Peter. There's a couple of answers to that. <laughs> there always um, are. The, the short answer would be uh, we are negotiating with some other mills in the area because the project currently doesn't have a mill on site. Okay. There are mills with excess capacity within five miles of the mine. Uh, we're negotiating with the owners of these mills and the possibility that we could get one of those operational sometime in 2018. We could start shipping uh, 500 tons a day, let's say, of production from the upper bunker that's already developed for mechanized mining. That's not from tailings, it's not from slag? No, no, it's, it's not... new ore, it's okay. already developed. Uh, no tailings or anything like that. Uh, ultimately, we will build our own mill. That's probably a 2,000 ton a day operation. That's probably a two year effort to get that built and operational. So, in the interim, we, we hope to be able to produce smaller tonnage through a custom mill facility in the valley with the goal of ultimately building our own processing plant. Uh, the company recently closed on a $10 million financing? Correct. And most of that is still in the bank. What do you, yes. What's the use of proceeds? Well, the biggest use of proceeds for the money that remains in the bank is we are, we're close to finalizing uh, a uh, consent decree with the United States Environmental Protection Agency. And uh, under the terms of that agreement, uh, the underlying owner that we're buying the property for is liable for over $45 million in prior response cost for the EPA cleanup of the, of the Bunker Hill site, the smelter, right. demolition, etc. So we've agreed as part of, the, of a tripartite agreement with the underlying owner and the U.S. EPA and the United States Department of Justice to pay them out $20, $20 million over seven years in prior response costs. And in exchange for that, we get a, a completely clean bill of health a for line, many, a line drawn in the sand. That's right, a line drawn in the sand. Not only that, they will agree to uh, continue to treat water effluent coming out of our mine and mill facility in the existing water treatment plant. So that means we don't need any permits to commence operations. We have everything we need. We can start mining right now with no permits. Uh, is there a feasibility study, a current 43101, or did you just skip that step? Well, we will be doing a 43101 primarily for the purposes of upgrading our listing to the TSE. However, uh, at the time the mine closed, they were carrying over 9 million tons of SEC quality proven and probable ore reserves. Okay. 
and an SEC defined proven reserve is far in excess uh, of, a, of a 43 101 in terms of degree of confidence. Right. We still have to put that little asterisk on it though. These yes, are historical that's estimates. That's right. Okay. But, but let me just tell you this. I have a lot more confidence in an SEC quality proven reserve than I ever would have in anybody's 43101 based on drilling. Because these reserves were based on actual cuts. They were based on the last cut and ore car samples taken off the face where the mine was shipping ore to the mill. And then a very narrow area of influence from there. So these are very high quality reserves. What's the next major step then for the company? Well, the next. The, the decree. And then yeah, we expect to have that very shortly because we've already signed it as has the underlying owner and it's, it's now going through the process with the government. It's very exciting. It is really exciting, yeah. We'll come back and check in a few months and see how you're doing. Yeah, no, it's an exciting story without a doubt. Thanks for coming by Bunker Hill. Thanks, Peter.